All right, what's going on you guys? Today we're gonna to do 10 rounds of the torture circuits. These are the circuits that I used to do for competition and they're in my um, fight week day one and I think they're in day three as well. Uh, we're gonna do 10 rounds. Doesn't mean you have to do all 10 rounds, but 10 rounds are here for you in case you wanna do them. This is general conditioning for boxing. Get your a little bit of strength, a little bit of speed, a little bit of stamina, it's kind of like general prep for boxing. So we work these to, uh, for an overall body conditioning, uh, give you, just prepare you in general uh, for boxing. All right, we're gonna go three, it's three minutes the round. The break is 45 seconds. So during the fight week, I made the break like 30 seconds. Uh, the break is 45 and uh, starts off jumping jacks, elbows to knee, uh, what do we move into? Burpees, then shushan, uh, then the split squats, jumping split squats, then the twist jumps, then running while punching up, then mountain climbers on the ground, and then the haggler crunches. We finish off with those. So anyways, uh, I'll be cueing you and we'll get through them. I would say if uh, you want to just up your conditioning straight, you just work these. If you've already done a boxing workout, then just do like four or five of them, or if you have a goal and you want to build up, then start at four and every second day or every third day, add one and try to get yourself up all the way to 10. These are definitely a challenge and you're going to feel them. I'm going to feel them. We're both uh, working hard and doing this together. All right, let's get into it. All right, you guys, so the first thing we're going to start with is the jumping jacks. We just go continuous. If we're not going to hit that just yet. We're going to hit it in about 10 seconds from now. We are going to start and uh, it's going to go. It's not going to be easy, but we're going to push through and we're going to make it. All right, here we go, jumping jacks. Round one, you find your pace. You find a speed that suits you. Sometimes you might have to go slower. Elbow to the knee. This is kind of like a hop and a crunch at the same time. Down. 
Nine more to go. I gotta make sure I keep track of these. Good preparation for boxing. Good training. We push that intensity. All right, catch your breath and relax. All right, we got plenty more to go.
Ready to recover? Okay, enjoy the time.
Now it's starting to get hard. Now it's getting hard. Catching up. I find seven is the hardest, because once we get past seven, we're in the home stretch. Breathing. Stay focused.
it up, we're there right now. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna have fun doing it. for boxing in general. It doesn't teach you the skill or work your technique, but overall gets you in shape so you can get more out of your boxing technical and you can last longer in sparring. Work these as many as you can. You, I would say take a day off and do it again. Only do them every day. Only do them every day if you're in really good shape. Otherwise, take some time off or do a few and do a lot. Do a few sets and do a lot. Anyways, if you haven't hit that like button, throw a jab right down at that like button for me. Leave a comment, tell me what you think. Check out precisionstriking.com for boxing instructionals. In the meantime, keep your hands up, chin down, eyes on the prize. Woo! <laughs>